the No Fade channel, checking in. Today we're going to be talking about your home water quality, how you can test it, and uh, what a TDS meter is, how I use it, and how to change the battery on this thing. So first and foremost, if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm dedicated to helping dads and moms be great parents to their kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. Six years ago, I had my first child and that's when I really got concerned about the quality of my water. As we know, the bigger you are, the more you are able to handle part particles and heavy metals in your water supply and in your food sources. If you're 200 pounds, you can ideally handle four times the amount of a 50 pound child. And when you have a little child that's one or two years old, it's even more concerning. So at the time I was using a Brita, like many people, very similar to a pure water filter. Um, you just put the water in, it filters it, and it kind of gets that taste out. And at the time it was doing the trick, but once I had my child, I got really concerned about how good is the quality of the water. Overall, the U.S. as a whole has very good water quality compared to the rest of the world. And here in New England, where I am, it's even higher in terms of quality compared to the rest of the country. With that said, I still wanted to know how good it actually was. And that's where a TDS meter, like you see here, there's different versions. They all look very similar, comes into play. Simply, uh, how does this work? You take the cover off. You're going to put this into water. You're going to turn it on, put it into water, and zero, obviously, is the best, right? Anything above zero, it get the higher the number, the worse it is. Uh, if you think about zero, I want you to think about distilled water, 100% H2O, no minerals, no anything, okay? And oftentimes, we don't know the quality of our water. We, we assume it's good just based on the taste, but obviously, you can't see the small uh, parts per million particles that are in there. So when I first got this, I actually tested my water out of the tap and it was at a 90. Again, 90, very good for, compared to not only the world, but even for the U.S. Out of the tap, it was a 90. What I was, what I found funny was when I tested the Brita, it had only brought this down to a 70. So it did very little for removing um, additional particles from the water. And that's why I actually went in changed my water filter for my house to a zero pitcher water filter. I'll put up a photo uh, right here. And I actually did a whole video on it. Essentially, it's a much bigger filter. Uh, a Brita or a Pure uses a two-stage filter. The zero pitcher water uses a five-stage filter. Um, and it is more expensive, not by much, but it is more expensive. But it takes your water all the way from whatever it is down to an absolute zero. So it almost is like, or essentially, you have distilled water. Um, and it does save money versus buying distilled water at the grocery store uh, by the gallon. So um, one of the things I was concerned about, or one of the things that I thought was interesting was that even though I thought I had very clean water out of the Brita, it wasn't nearly as good as I had thought. By no means is it uh, an emergency or an issue with regards to adult health, but if you've got children, you really want to try to get the purest water you can. So that's why I encourage many of you, if you're not going to eat, pick up a zero pitcher water to get a TDS meter. One of the benefits of getting the zero pitcher water is that this will come with a TDS meter. Um, one of the things that I found interesting is that over time, after a while, the batteries run out because you use it and whatnot. So I didn't know how to change the batteries on this thing. So I want to quickly show you how to change the batteries on this TDS meter. So first off, you shut it off. You take a small screwdriver and you are going to just simply carefully pop off the top. You can see it comes out. You really want to be try to be as careful as you can. All right, it comes, comes off the top and it has two batteries in here. These are LR44. You are then going to just push these batteries out through the back, put new batteries in, and push this back into place. It does seem rather simple, but I will say if you are not familiar with it, it does get confusing. That's why I'm actually making this video is because when I first ran, when this thing first ran out of power, I didn't know how to change the battery, so I figured other people might have the same exact question. So if you are looking to measure your home water, even if you do have a filter system, just to see the quality of that water, I would hi highly recommend getting yourself, if you're not gonna get a zero pitcher water filter, just buy yourself a TDS uh, filter. So how does it work again? You take off the cap, you put this into water, right? So you put, fill up a cup of water from your tap or from your filtered water, 
put this in and it's going to give you a number from 0 to 700. Ideally, it's going to be as close to 0 as possible. If you're unsure of how the water is or if you want to take a photo of it or if you want to uh, just make sure you've got that number accurate, you can actually hit this hold button and that will hold the number steady uh, so that you can see it as you pull this out of the actual water. Um, I think many of you, if you pick one of these up, you're going to be surprised with the quality of your water. As I've mentioned in previous videos and as we all know, what gets measured gets managed. So if you want to make sure you have high quality water for you, for yourself, for your family, for your kids, for your guests, whoever, make sure that you get yourself a TDS tester, a TDS meter, so that you can measure the quality of your water, not only at the tap, but out of your filter system. If you have a filter system, you should be measuring it as well to make sure that that filter system is living up to your expectations. If you have come this far in the video, do me a huge favor, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment and let me know you are here. And certainly if you have questions, drop it in the comments below and I will get them answered. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.